Today we are going to walk you through a new addition to our metrics, waterfall charts. These can be found when adding a new metric, in the preset section or when building a new metric. Let's add a new one from a preset, to do that, go into a dashboard and click add new in the upper right, and select presets from the dropdown. Now you can select waterfall from the tabs, and add a waterfall chart. Waterfall charts are used to visualize the beginning point and the end point using accumulated values. For example, when viewing total income we can see the month over month growth as a total, but if we switch to net profit, we can see how some months will go up and others will go down, but each month's starting point is from the last month's end point. You can also use the additional settings within Axis to invert the waterfall chart. In a waterfall chart, you will notice that you can only show one row at a time if multiple columns are selected, or you will only be able to show one column if multiple rows are selected. You can choose the waterfall data of each row or column pulled in, and set them as either balance or total, as well as positive, or negative. You can also change the color of each value just like you can in the other metrics. All the other settings within the additional settings should be pretty familiar, as they appear on most other metrics. This about covers the basics when it comes to the new waterfall chart. If you have any questions about this new chart, send us a chat.